on our way up to the start of the old uh, valley. valley we're going up. That means filling up some water. It's been a bit of a hike all the way up here at the moment. A bit of a battle, but you know, all part of the fun, really. Right, so me and Damien were just um, coming up the scree slopes, just about to go over the saddle, where we saw um, more of about probably 12, 12 or more shemi last time go up into. So we we're all prepped and ready to look down into there and see this mob and get onto them and hopefully get a big buck or something like that. But um, we're coming up this, yeah, <laughs> we're going up the scree slope, and um, I looked down, I see this thing just hitting its ears back towards me. I go, Damien, Damien, Damien. And he's like, what? I'm like, there's something running towards us down the hill. And we sit down, and I put this, uh, my telephoto lens on, start filming. And the chamois buck, literally, starts coming up, coming up towards us. And you'll probably see it in the video before this, but like, just came charging up. It's eight inches. Eight and a bit, I don't know. And, um, eight, yeah. yeah. And, um, char charging up within 30 metres of us, we had a thing, I was like, oh god, and it had real thick, real thick horns and um... Nice hooks. Yeah, decided to knock it over. I'm not going to lie, I missed the second shot to put it down, but... That's what happens when you use a long range gun and close yeah, range. Right, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, nah, nevertheless, it's a bloody great start to day one of our hunting trip, so... Hopefully Damien follows the lead. Yeah, another big buck, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. All right, we'll finish in a moment. So um, we're just coming down this new valley. We popped up over the saddle up behind camera there, and we're just popping down here. And we're thinking about camera. <laughs> Carry on, Dave. Thinking about camping down by that green shit and glass, nothing to all this rock face this evening. Uh, we're not going to pop around the corner and risk disturbing animals around there that we know are already there. So uh, we'll just stick to here tonight. We just set up camp here. Got a wee flat rock for cooking on, tent over there. Nice valley. Uh, yeah, just the one chamois seen today, just that big buck over there, eight inches. Now yeah, we're just cooking up a feed, but yeah, good day, eh, really? Uh, tomorrow we're just going to be heading down the gut and around the corner and hope to get onto some more chamois. 
Uh, there's a mob there we, that we got onto a few weeks ago, so hunt around for them for a bit and then, yeah, carry on up the valley. Just keep glassing and looking. Find something, hopefully. Mm. Not bad, not bad. Morning of day two. Just packing up camp now. Had a bit of a sleep in after that big day this morning. Hard big day yesterday. Yeah, deserved it. Now we're just packing up. Getting ready to nosey on into the next valley. It's going to be a tough day. The old body's feeling what happened yesterday. We uh, come up over there and, um, yeah, it was a lot harder than we thought. But, yeah. Big day today, so let's get to it. into head basin number three. Gonna wee glass around but um not picking up much. We're quite high. Um we haven't seen any in these three basins we've done today so yeah I don't know what's going on. Yeah I can see that. Mm -hmm. That's quite a big one that one. Yeah, that's not bad. This that's a kid all that top one's alright. They're all nannies, I think. I bet the low one's not walking up with you. Yeah, good. Whoa! Good shot, mate. Fuck yeah. Oh, that's a goodie. Yeah, that's a stonker. Oh, fuck. Not bad. <laughs> oh, Shammy, and uh, that's where I first shot him where all that gear is, and he run along here, run up there, run along here, and down into here. And this is where I second shot him, you can see all the blood and shit. And uh, he's fallen in the river. And uh, we've just found him. He's dislodged, stuck under that bank. We reached down in there and felt his horns and his face. So Bradley's currently getting naked. Uh, Bradley decided he's willing to get in the water for a chamois because um, feeling his horns, they feel pretty good, don't they, Bradley? So uh, Bradley's going to get in the water and try to drag him out. He's deep down in that hole, it's probably about a metre deep. So yeah, it's cold water though, so yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned, we might have a shimmy. Yeah. Well, Bradley got the shimmy out, um, and then he started flying down the creek and I caught him and yeah, nah, he's a ripper of a buck. Um, I'll get Bradley to video while I do the measure. But uh, we reckon he might go over 10 actually. <laughs> Alright, I'll measure that side. Team. Mm -hmm. Ready to find a campsite, we're going to push up this gut, get up on the saddle, and hopefully find a nice dry spot. 
We were going to camp back where we shot the chamois, but it was just all swampy and shit, so time to find a new spot. Bradley's just filling up the water. Big chamois buck on the side there, another one down over there. Two bucks for the weekend, ain't bad, eh, Bradley? Not bad, good size. Not bad, good size. But yeah, it could, we could be walking a while before we find a campsite because all this shit is just swampy and wet. But um, I'm sure with a bit of walking we'll find one. Too much. I found this nice 10 point head lying dead in the creek. Um, looks to be a bit old. Um, it was a 1080 drop in this area about four years ago, so it might be from that. Could explain why it's in the creek bed, but yeah, no, not good, bad, not a bad head. Now we're just heading down the creek, back out to the main river and down the main river. Home time. Home time. Bradley's big buck on there. My big buck on there. And now I've got a stag head to add to the collection. Yay. Oh, well, carry on.